Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the first kind of video like this I'm doing, a theory kind of analyzing video. Uh, I didn't know what the dress code was, so I, I I dressed smart. I went with a red tie for a red sounding guy, apparently. Uh, but hello, welcome to the channel. Welcome to something very different. Now, if you've clicked this video, then I'm just going to assume you've seen the brand new series of Don't Hug Me I'm Scared. Six brand new episodes dropping on all four. If you haven't, you should go check them out. They're very, very good, as you'd probably expect. And maybe go check out my reaction videos as well, because they're also very good. But, anyway, uh, brand new series. Red guy, yellow guy, a duck, all return to learn about a variety of new topics. But in Don't Hug Me I'm Scared fashion, of course, things go very, very mind-racingly wrong. Oh, God. No, I love this new series. I really do. Okay. Uh, and more so than most shows, it has sent my mind racing. Racing with ideas and with theories about what things mean. Why a specific thing was said. It How everything connects. Okay. I've been on the bloody Twitter and the subreddit. I know it has for a lot of people. And so I've seen the brand new series every episode about three times now. Once to react, once to edit. Once to my little brother who wanted to watch it as well. And so... Yes, I'm very ready to make one of these. <laughs> uh, so today I'm talking about a theory that has, in my comments especially, I've seen a lot of talk and debate about it. So I thought, why not? I've got a few. Uh, I've got another one I haven't really seen talked about, but that's a longer one. So I'll save that one whilst I work on it. But today we're doing this one. And so without further ado, because I do ramble, I apologise for that if you're new. Let's talk about why I and a lot of other people seem to think that Duck is definitely still dead. Now, I know what you're thinking. Duck's not dead. <laughs> you know, Duck appears in every episode of this season of the brand new series, including being in literally the first and the last scenes of the series. And so Duck isn't dead. How can he be dead? Well, let's begin by going to episode two. The episode told rather appropriately death, where we learn all about death. And it starts with Duck finding out through reading the newspaper, as we all do, uh, he's definitely dead, with that fact being confirmed by his personal ID. Now, I think it'll be funny if I just ended fear here and said, there you go, but no. No, we're going to continue, okay? Uh, we'll carry on. So Duck finds out he's dead. His heart, I want to say, or another organ, looks like a heart, I think, falls out of his body, rolls over to the floorboards, and forms with them to create a coffin. Uh, an unnamed coffin. I called him Colin, but Colin's the computer, so... I don't know. Leave a name in the comments if you want to. That can be your theory if you want to figure it out. Uh, but yeah, to form this coffin person, you know, everyone gets ready for the shepherd's pie. I mean, the, the funeral. And then, in the end, he's lowered into the ground where he shall stay in eternal peace. Or not, because, you know, he's actually still alive down there and just very bored. Uh, elsewhere, Red Guy and Yellow Guy are in the house and uh, not having a fun time because Duck's not around. It's just the two of them instead of the three of them. And they're not having fun. They walk into this weird wake type thing for Duck, which they're very confused by. And they're handed a gift bag. In the gift bag is a make a new friend kit. They go through the catalogue. Red Guy offers a bunch of options that are available. Uh, the other guy isn't happy with either of them. He just wants Duck back. He tosses the box in anger. You know, they start to come to terms with thing maybe. Uh, when the pink goo, which is actually flesh, as the box says, is molded into their new friend. Red guy happily accepts him into the group. Yellow guy, a lot less happily, uh, doesn't really want to. He still wants the duck back. But still, red guy shows him around the house. It sees a stain on the wall, and it says, that's a funny word, and it says, that'll be my name, Stain Edwards the Forever Boy, which we stand, we love that for you. So whilst red guy is being very sick and saying, yellow guy is not, and eventually yellow guy sets off to dig up duck's grave and bring the original duck back. Whilst at home, Red Guy is starting not to vibe as much with Stain. Stain wants to adventure and stuff, which, you know, boring. The Red Guy doesn't want to. He misses Duck, and so he begins to mould Stain into Duck. Uh, if I we get to the end of episode two, Red Guy's fully moulded Stain into Duck. You know, including dressing him up in Duck and trying to get him to read the newspaper like Duck would. Whilst Yellow Guy arrives back home with the original Duck that he dug up. Duck finds the imposter sitting in his seat. You know, inside his personal area. They stare down for a minute, um and an in, and then they say, there's the four of us now. Do the intro musical number with four instead of three, and then it ends with a duck's head being cut off with the remaining duck saying, four doesn't work. There's only meant to be three of us. And that's the end of episode two. Now, 
you can look at this as just a funny, crazy end to the episode as always, you know, where Stain, the forever boy, Stain Edwards, I'm sorry, the forever boy, I'll just call him Stain from now on, gets his head cut off by the original Dark. We move on. But what if that wasn't the case? What if instead Stain cut off the original Duck's head to fully take his place? Definitely dead for good is the new Duck. Or the old Duck, shall I say. Well, what evidence to, is there to this? Let's have a look. We're going to start off staying in episode 2, when Duck is inside his coffin and he begins to get devoured by maggots, making a comment about it. You can see them, they're over his face, they're on his legs, they're everywhere. Uh, and then we get to the end of the episode, where Duck gets his head cut off. And on the pool floor, on the pool of blood coming from Duck, you can see maggots. You can see them on the face, like they were in the coffin, and you can see them in the actual pool of blood. Now, with Stain, you know, unless they're pre-putting maggots in the kit, how would it be in there? You have to ask yourself. Maybe Duck just walked them in, but they were on the face as well. So, you know, it's, it's one thing to that side. Opposingly to this, of course, earlier in the episode, Duck had his finger cut off by the coffin to prove he's dead. And instead of blood coming out, it was just steam. So, no blood inside, so it can't be Duck. But can Stain bleed? He's just flesh. He doesn't have, like, the bits inside, so... It could go either way on that one. One way we could look to try and do switches where is by looking at their placement in the room. When the musical number starts, Stain is on the left and Duck is on the right. And then in the end, when the Duck gets his head cut off, it's the Duck who's on the right whose head gets cut off and by the Duck who's on the left. The original Duck on the right getting his head cut off by Stain's Duck on the left. Uh, and having talked about this, we have to ask, I mean, does it even matter? So often in this show and the kids' shows it's designed to resemble, Everything just kind of gets set back to normal at the end of the episode, you know, it gets reset, it gets reverted, okay, none of it really matters. But, the signs that this isn't the case fully, because if we go to the end of episode 5, where the gang are lost in the real world, with no way back home, and then Yellow Guy hears the voice of what turns out to be Leslie in his head, you know, giving a speech, uh, we're not going to go into Leslie right now because there's a whole other can of worms, but giving a speech, tells Yellow Guy something, before sending the guys back home, so then the journey always comes back home. You know, they go on these journeys every episode and it always comes back home. But still, those clear signs are showing that stuff is not fully, at least, resetting throughout the show. If we go to episode 4, titled Friendship, at the end of the episode, Warren the Worm gets gouged out of Yellow Guy's head by Duck. Pesky B tosses it into the trash can. Now, when we look at the trash can, if you pause on it, you can see a few things. You can see the screenplay written by unemployed Brendan in episode 1. Sorry, I'm just regular Brendan. I apologise, mate. And you can also see the apple with eyes that Lily takes a bite out of in episode three. As well as a cigarette that has a lot of cigarettes and a serious amount of cigarettes. It could be the one from the Make a New Friend kit. Or it could just be one of the many, many cigarettes that popped up throughout the series. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, either way, you know, there's also this pink thing in there. This kind of pink and blue thing. Some people say it's to make a new friend kit. I don't fully see it, but it could be. Either way, it's a clear sign, to sh at least in some form, to show that continuity is existing in this world. That things aren't fully resetting. That these things that happen are still here in some way. Also throughout the series, a lot of comments are made, you know, kind of breaking the fourth wall a bit about these people who show up. Like, Red Guy makes a comment episode 5, well, you know, we just sit here and then someone shows up and sings. Yellow Guy is one episode 6. So th there's some awareness, at least, that things aren't fully resetting at this stage. Uh, now, a big question, another big question, at least, to ask, uh, is Disdain rather than Duck, is why does he still have Duck's personality? He still acts like Duck throughout. If Disdain replaces Duck in episode 2, episode 3, 4, 5, 6, the personality-wise, Duck is still very much Duck. Okay. Uh, for that, we return to the Make a New Friend kit, where there are a variety of different base options to choose from in the catalogue that they go through. And it's shown that the kit can be made to make a friend modelled after an actual person, first of all. Because one of the options, as you can see in the catalogue, is a Mr. Duncan Andrews, a lovely looking fellow. And if we go to episode 6, with the word search, the crosswords, there you go, that they do, it's written by Duncan Andrews. So it shows that this kit allows you to choose these real people. You could pick Duncan Andrews, mould it into him, and you'd have a copy of the real person who will make you some word searches or Ross words or whatever you want, I guess, <laughs> if that's what you're into. However, instead, the red guy ends up moulding Stain into Duck. Now, all the options are shown to have their different personalities, 
And so if you mold it into duck, wouldn't it take his personality? That's a question you have to ask. Would it? Wouldn't it? It's never explicitly said that it could, but it's not said it couldn't. And depending on who you mold it into, it gets their personality. So if you mold it into duck, why wouldn't it get duck's personality in the process? Thinking like, acting like, and ready to take over the life of duck. And throughout the remaining episodes, signs are left to the fact that the original duck is in fact still dead permanently definitely dead uh, for example with his id card the id card that we saw in episode two uh colin tells red guy to get check his id card because red guy really wants to be dead for some reason that's another thing i guess uh to see that he's alive red guy goes and checks and he sees that he is in fact alive and whilst red guy's id card confirms he's alive if you look at ducks you can see the x's over his eyes proving that duck is definitely dead and then we flash forward to episode three, episode family, the creepiest episode, in my opinion, so far of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, uh, where Duck pulls out his wallet, well, the family wallet, they all share a wallet and a lawyer and a lot of other stuff. Duck pulls it out to show off his family photos of his not family. And you can see that the ID cards of Duck is once again still X's overrides. Duck is still dead. The original Duck. Because Stain can take Duck's identity or can take his body, personality, his place, but he's still not Doug, he's still not linked to Duck's ID card, he's still staying the forever boy deep down. The original Duck is still dead. Also in the final episode, episode 6, where we learn all about electricity, Red Guy pulls out a boring, non-electrical one, who could care about one of those, which has a picture of Duck on the front, it's very clearly a picture of our Duck, and then he smashes it on the floor, and you see ashes coming up, you know, into the air. Uh, the urn not empty it had something inside the remains of who it shows you duck it's duck it could be any old duck or it could be duck 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 not david duck his name's not david but duck <laughs> and finally we're going to stay in episode six and we're going to go to the end the other guy makes it to the top room or the near the top room of the house uh with leslie inside who asks him to help her tidy things up in her dollhouse recreation that he has of the house that the guys live in. Leslie gently placing Yellow Guy back down into, you know, the bottom rooms, the, the house that we see in the show with Red Guy, whilst Yellow Guy takes Duck to place back in there, but instead accidentally knocks his head off in the process. Yellow Guy brings Duck back into the house and in doing so causes him to lose his head, a complete mirror of the events in episode two where yellow guy digs duck up out of his grave brings him back to the house and it causes him to lose his head beautiful little mirror there now that's all i have in the ducks definitely still dead theory for now i've probably definitely missed a bunch of stuff that would help prove he is or show that he isn't in the end does it matter Maybe not, but it's an interesting thing to ponder in my opinion. I'm not saying it's 100% completely definitely true. I just think there's a lot of stuff in here that kind of adds up to it, you know? But in the end, does it matter? So it's still a possible guy either way or the other. Uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on the in on this theory in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, you know? We've had plenty of discussion in my other videos about it, so let's have one here as well. Uh, any theories you have about the show? I've read some interesting theories online in the comments that I haven't even seen online very interesting ones i'd love to hear more theories you have about the show what it means what certain part means about this about that i'd love to hear them any and all thoughts are welcomed and appreciated uh let me know anything else you'd like to see me react to or analyze or create theories about i still have other don't hungry i'm scared theories i'm very interested in making they're a bit longer i currently have one that's about six pages long so that's going to be a much longer video than this about double whatever the length of this one's going to be uh but still i hope that you have enjoyed if you have why don't you leave a like uh, and subscribe for more when i drop the other don't hug i'm scared theory when hopefully it doesn't take them six years to release another series of don't hug me i'm scared so yeah leave a like if you have enjoyed and subscribe for more and as always i just want to say a very special thank you for watching